ancient T side and Miles was so confident on the offense in that last map. G2 are going to have their work cut out for them here, calling straight out of spawn and going for that A hit while G2 focus on middle. They'll have quick rotates, but they'll get smoked off in the donut. So Miles might have this open pathway into the bomb site, into the post plant. Out they come, in they go. Smokes are in. Next has even dropped one of his own. He's going to try and make a play here. Set up from a flash. Honestly, provides them out from the spawn. But nothing found yet. It's just a little awkward here. Next are dead on the smoke. Hunter trying to make a play. Edging on the Molotov. One from Hunter. Oh, and the oh. double. Nico lent a helping hand. And the Kovacs are in. Now Torshi backstab late, it's being held, it's considered, and Hooksy wraps it up. No celebrations from G2, just focused faces, a map down already. A huge comeback to embark upon. An overpass that Miles never made it to of the Major. The job has just begun for G2. But at least it's begun. And I really like the, the point the match he made over on the desk where he said, sure, you know, the goal up until now has been playing their game in these playoffs. But it's a very different situation for a team that have always fielded L's here to actually be so close to winning, so close to taking a, a hard-fought battle in a playoff game and moving into a grand final, no less. That is a very different mindset required. Yeah, I mean, Miles have literally never done it, right? When we look at, you know, in, in the recent uh, playoff runs, we've seen this roster embark on, you know, against FaZe across those three events. They never got a map. G2 in the major, they didn't get a map. They were barely in the map. So it is a very different beast now for Miles. It's a situation that they have not been in for a long time. Since like the you know the core of this roster back at the Rio Major that kind of time, it's been a while. So what are we gonna do? We should have enough SMGs to stop this from getting out of control. And Hunter makes it so every bullet right down the center, under the rug for G2. But now Miles come through with a buy. Another thing that we have to consider, right, the, the victories were few and far between for, for G2 in that last map. But as they try to come back here, and as you want to leave everything out on the field, you're going to have individuals pushing themselves that much harder. And with every kill, every round that G2 post, the crowd's going to go wild. Yeah, and so Mounds are also battling against that. I mean, every look at it the other way, every death you receive is getting cheered been a hard-fought battle for Miles. They've still managed to do it. They've got a feeling about this A side right now. So did G2, because they're going to be aggressive. They've cleared out all of the B lane. Roland hears this. And so Miles, in a weird sense, now know they're walking into a setup. The G2 will have numbers here. There's two towards the site. Crash through the smoke, changing those timings, and they get the entry as well. The Hunter lined up with multiple kills. Monacy will get one. Three on three now, Miles have control, but G2 look like they want to go. And Miles are committed to this. That bomb gets away from them as Torshi blocked off out in the open. Shuey's trying to hold the line, but he's low on health. And so Brolin, who started this round all the way over towards B, comes oh. in on the backstab. A crucial kill. Nico left up in the clutch. And with Brolin so low and known about. This one has to belong to Nico. This has to be where he leaves a mark, where he finds his impact. Popped. Brolin has gotten away with that bomb. If he runs now, he gets hurt, but further and further he gets away. I wonder if Nico has anything. No, no info, no knowledge. Now he sees the bomb's gone. It'll dawn on him, but too late. Brolin's going to be able to pick his post part, pick his peak, choose the fight. Nico now, it all dawns. <gasps> Brolin hears that. Oh, Brolin's got the info. Might not have the HP, but Brolin knows exactly what he has to do to win this. Bomb is planted for him. And Nico, no idea where Brolin could be. 
No clue. Oh, are you sure? Now I think he has a bit of an inkling. Wrong way. Brolin calls his bluff. Brolin calls his bluff. Swing it out. Nico, will he get there in time? It's going to be close. Uh-uh. He doesn't have it. And so Brolin, the balls to call. Nico's bluff is madness. And that's how Maus get on the board. No matter what help you give him, Brolin ain't giving up that round for free. Nico can use what he wants, but it's not enough in this round. And that bomb robbery against a low HP Brolin, his biggest mistake. And here's the thing, that, that crowd advantage goes both ways. When they're not cheering, he's not sticking the bomb. But he's still looking for the fight. It's hard to know. Oh my god, look at this aggression. They oh, swap! They oh, swap in the smoke. Oh. Brolin's right behind them. Does he even know? Smoke comes down, sure he makes a call, and Brolin's wondering how oh the hell my am I god. here? I'm gonna just take the site. I want the whole round right now. Cheers will not save you now, G2. How do you communicate this? You find out the hard way. Merlin wanted more out of that. Yeah. But when Hunter pivots on the spot, he, he just has to take the kill while he's got it. You'd rather the 5v4 than trying to milk that for a double, and you end up getting hit on a weird timing. Over in mid, good molly from Nico. Hands him two fights. Ones that Maus didn't want to give over. But they have no say in the matter. And so what was once a good start, a, a gnarly timing found for Brolin. Ends up with the advantage in G2's favor. Maus make moves, try to take away the red room. Bomb in tow here. trying oh. to keep the attention over on B, and now they might just look to follow through with it. With that kill coming in, you should be cognizant of a second player, Hootsie, usually here, and they've spotted him back in the cave. The unknown quantity right now is Nico. Throwing attention, he's just trying to get them looking his way so no one checks the ramp. Nico can win the round right now. You drop that bomb, they line up. He takes one and a half. Brolin finished off this time around, and Torshi now needs to clutch, but the Deagle denies. And G2 get back to their winning ways. It's so similar to that start of Nuke. These early trades, this is exactly where we were. Yet still, Miles ran away with the half. They'll have to do it again. G2 respond efficiently. 3-1 now. Great bait for Hooksy. He, he doesn't need to show himself there, but it draws so much attention. But Nico is able to get even more value from that Famas. He takes three and a half kills in the round. G2 getting hyped now. Nico's having his way with the server. Mao's committing to an investment here. They call a timeout. They're, they're really wanting to keep the pressure on. They're really wanting to keep that aggression coming through. And don't get me wrong, that is a, a core part of the, the essence of this Mao's team. But you don't want it to change from you playing your game to being desperate to end this series. I think that's how you give G2 the way back in. The overexcitedness, you know, the overzealousness to try and put the series to rest. At no point am I counting G2 out of making a comeback in this in this BO3. If Mal's are really the real deal, if they've really shaken off the nerves of the stage, they've got to prove it. They've got to earn it every single step of the way. Next second to B, it's only Hooksy right now. It's a good block, but they're coming up the ramp for the most part. Roland dives through the smoke, sprayed through. 5v3, G2 in a perfect position, and Mouse could do nothing about it. Shattered through that smoke. And while Torshi trades places, it's only for a moment. Nico has that bullet in the back, and Nexa will take it instead. Four to one, five alive. This is G2's game now.
And one of the most exciting things early on was this idea of have Mao's learned their lessons. Well, they learned enough to put up one map, but now they might learn. It's one thing to do it once, it's quite another to win the series. Yeah. G2 picking up steam, picking up momentum, and building back stronger on Mao's map pick. They just had so much control. Mao's can't even play in lane, really. The constant pushes down, these instant door smokes from spawn. And again, G2 go double cave. They have been really staking their claim on this integral part of the map. And we have Deagles, no util, no armor. Of course, Mao's aren't going to fight for it. But even when they've been on buy rounds, for the most part, G2 have had this control. Mao's playing from the back foot. It's not actually been anything reliable in this game yet for Mao's. Anything they can look to and say, yeah, this is a, a gap, this is a weakness. Double seven for middle, easily done. Good timing on that flash. Uh, Hooksy Hooks just takes one. And at Monacy to close. Another five alive round. G2 are rolling in dough right now. I think, you know, if you if you want to look at signs of pressure, Torshi, last map, 24 and 7. Oh, to open up this one, yeah. he's nearly matched that death count from the entire map of Nuke, but without a single kill to show for it. A lot harder to start off strong on the T side of this map, right, than CT Nuke, feeling like your rotates are perfect, you're in the right positions, Mao's going to pick up the pace. They want to show that confidence from the end of Nuke, and the first entry comes through. Hooksy caught completely off guard, as is Zersha. He goes in the corner with nothing after one. Mao's managed to find a way in. But G2, we mentioned that money, they may as well give it a go. If they go for this, if they if they manage to turn this around from a 2v4, they break Maus. I think this round, this retake, if G2 actually want to commit to it, that would be them trying to destroy the hearts and minds of Maus. Big steps. They want it late, hoping Maus exit for the bomb radius. Might work. There's only two players in the site right now. And one oh gets caught God. Can they get on that bomb? Brolin won't let it happen. Nexa with smoke. Nexa with kit. And Nexa too far Ooh. away to make this work. It is a oh. Mal's round. And even he can't bait them into death. Mal's prioritize money. And Nexa leaves with nothing. That's a very heads up play for Mal's. Easy to see them panic in that situation. But they realize that bomb is too far gone. Huge kill for Brolin in that 2v3. Oh, straighting round for Nico. And it's not just him. Hooksy's like spamming the wall when he sees the exit come in, and he's just not even considering that Maus would actually throw a B rush at him. Like, that's quite a surprise to see that off the back of the boards. Maus are just going for these group I mean, hits, but yeah. look who's in the right place. It's Monacy and his AW. Maus is still kind of gambling on the pace, right? They're hoping the pace is what sets them free, and it's only a matter of time before we see if it makes or breaks them. They're going to play into the Monacy Orb, as you mentioned. Flashed off the angle, but Monacy is still very much in the picture here. One kill from the guy. Helping hand, lent from Nexa and Hunter across the map. Everyone moves in towards A for G2. And with the bomb away from Maus, they are living and dying by the pace of this T side. And it's failing more often than it's working for the Maus squad. And they don't believe, you know, in, in these slow default rounds right now, these seesaw rounds, they want a quick hit and they realize they can't do back-to-back -back B rushes. That would be too far gone. But this A side has been even uglier for Maus's T side. I haven't tried a mid pop. A delayed takes denied by double setups. This is a uh, very uncomfortable constricting T side for Maus, and that's from G2. They're saving already. Torshi far from guaranteed in his position. G2 planting the flag on CT Ancient, a side they've had struggles with. 
I think Maus need the reminder that your confidence and willingness to win is not linked to the speed that you play at. Playing slow is not the same as playing scared. Because thus far, all they're, all they're kind of doing here is having the game go by in a flash. You're going to feel like this T-side is over before you've even had time to think about it at this uh, rate. And what do you have to show for it by the end of the half? We've only got a few rounds left here. Maus need them desperately on the T-side of Ancient. G2, back to their mid-take. Mollies go down instantly, denying that faster play. I like the combo on B as well. Stops Maus looking for a pick up the ramp there. Restricted by Molly Nade. All right, we've got a boost up, Zershin. Trying to open this round. It's Brolin instead towards the B side, catching Hunter going very aggressive through a smoke. A price G2 will pay. Oh, the Whoa! timing is awkward. They can punish this. But oh! they can't. Try all you want. Oh, oh my geez, god. That is madness, but he gets away with it. Oh. That is the last thing Hooksy was expecting. Aggro down in mid from Nico. Monesi holding on to the heavens. This round is far from over. G2 re-aggressing. Oh, but Nico's caught at the hand to Jimmy P. monesi has got to deliver. He has support again from Nexa, rotating into red, but right as he leaves the angle, that's when Torshi could look to make oh. a move. Missed shot from Monesi. Nexa's got to fly solo, and he can't get a handle over middle. Torshi has finally arrived as he breaks through with three kills in that round there to make all the difference for Maus. What a great move for Torshi to the smoke. It looks ballsy, it looks insane, and sure, the round rests on it going successfully. But he hears Hooksy trade out guns after using all his ammo for that double kill. So he realizes, I have a timing, I need to take it. And the way that Maus trade out in middle there, they use the audio. Look at that. To, to, to bait Monacy looking deep. Sure, Jimpad just gets away with BS on the P250. But they're trading peaks very effectively. Roland with his signature at Molotov in the cave. That gets him up heaven very early. Maus, this is the most control they've had in middle all game. And they've taken, they've taken the pace out of these rounds largely. And I think that's going to work in their benefit massively. Because here's the thing, you can go back to the usual Mao's bravado and pace once you're feeling it, once you're feeling warmed into the game. And we're starting to approach that point now. Torshi was a non-factor, is starting to find success. Exertion, making a play here, gets out with a double. And sure, he's gonna fall, but the round should be locked in here for Mao's. You could see that the pressure was there for this Mao's squad. It, it was. It was visible from outside of the server, but it doesn't take much to bring you back into it. And so with the last two going their way, finally chaining together consecutive rounds, that's going to matter a hell of a lot in the long run here. G2, what was once looking like one hell of a, a almost a surefire comeback to open up this map, now could get called into question if Mao's wake up. Even the save is tenuous at best. Monacy's in main and Jim Pat is patrolling. He wants to commit. Might be nothing for G2. Monacy's allowed though, and got this all important buy up coming now for G2. Yeah, this one really decides a hell of a lot, right? For, for G2, they can still have a strong CT side if they win this round. But if they come up short, suddenly we're looking at a tie game. And considering you were once leading this 6 2, that's the last thing G2 want to happen. So that's why they take a timeout here. The, the fate of this half and whether or not it closes up rests on this round. Monacy and Hooksy exchange a couple of words there. It feels like Monacy wants to be involved. Torshi getting to Don and AWP over on the T side as well. I see G2 go back for that lane control, right? The old faithful on the CT side, they're lining up the door smoke immediately and they've been taking a space almost every single round of the CT side. So it's been very constricting for Maus. We've sent Roland on his spawn time after time. 
Ramp's gonna go for it again. Shui is even up Ramp, getting spotted in the cubby. Gets out unpunished. Smoke on the molly. Mao's used three smokes just to get this B lane control. They know what G2's remedy was, and they do everything they can to deny it. It means an execute is unlikely in this round. Mao's might have to win it off the kills. Session's got hunting. Look at the map control in red at 120. Hunter's eyes on this, but Session doesn't need to hurry in this position now. His team gets set up outside of A, and it's only Nexa with the worst gun in the round on this big box. Oh, and Toshi catches him on the retreat. That is a big opener, and with Exertion posted over in red, he can manipulate these rotates, and he doesn't jump the gun. He doesn't get jittery. Going out a little bit later, he gets that crucial trade on Monacy and keeps the advantage in Mouse's favor. Oh, dear. oh, Exertion! Filth. This is so much more composed than the previous rounds. Pressured here, but he doesn't budge. Will not give G2 a way back in. That is filth, that is dirt. And even if he dies, I say even if, it's a big if, Nico finds him, but there's a trade for the round, and Mouse look to level out the half when all is said and done. You're witnessing Mouse not have to take an L to learn a lesson. They're doing this live and on the fly. They, were, they were playing this game too, too aggressively. They, they were trying to force the confidence, and it's in slowing it down that they've gained True confidence, true enlightenment for the Mouse squad here. The calls are excellent, by the way, because it's not just that A split off of Zertion's position, him hearing rotations. It's the fake out towards B as well. All those smokes putting out the mollies forces G2's B stack. They think it's coming. Shui has played with G2. Shui has played with Hooksy in this series. And now... The final hit here for Mouse. The knockout blow on their T side through smokes. G2 feeling desperate. Desiring any kill, any chance. There's a big flank for Nexa. It reinforces B, but with so little. Three on five. Mal's watching their back. Jim Pat holding his position. He'll nail the shot. Now they know it's a B stack. Modesty hits two Ds. Where did that come from? The Mal's really want to go. They've got a guy trapped. Do they want to go into Modesty though? He's down the ramp, oh. waiting for the round. Oh, oh, they swing him together. And it's together that Mouse pull this one back to an even scoreline from 6 2 down. Mouse are here and they're not messing around. Mouths have adapted, but can they overcome? G2 start this one with a great CT side. They open up 6-2, but then Mouths chain together four to close out this half on an even keel as they move over to the CT side. G2 have got their work cut out for them. Yeah, no time to model it over, just got to get right back into the game, and this is the half that could eliminate G2 from the competition. Revenge for Mouths on the stage from Copenhagen just days ago. And a new look Mouths, a fresh face Mouths, where everyone's pulling their weight on this second map. Got G2 poised for a B hit. 
Some nades for Nico in the post plant. Monacy trying to get the spot. Only two CTs in the site. Hunter fakes it out. And G2 come running. Gonna make it in up through the ramp. There's not really oh. much that Mouse can do about that. Quick flick from Monacy as he goes hunting, but sent back. Uh-oh. 4v4. Mouse deal with the aggressive Monacy. But it's been Nico in these pistol rounds that's been a real standout player for G2. And he's still in play. Sat back at the cave. Not going to take a fight yet. Tap on the bomb, but not the commit to the stick. Maus are hoping that gives them some fights in this oh! retake, and it will. Okay. They all come through. That is more like it. Decisive victory for G2. It's what they need. Nico's having a great game, and it would have hurt for Monacy, who makes those plays and often makes them look easy. Running through a smoke and a 5v4, if they lose that round, it's going to make him look a little silly. G2, don't let him down. And now Miles go for the full eco, while G2 try to swing out into the lead. And they've got the whole map, mid taken, B lane, empty. Now stack up spawn side. Should we keep an eye on his troops? Ping pong. G2 picking up uh, the conversion on this pistol should be a guarantee. Now as they wait to see where the play ends up and they've got one flash to try and pop through with. How exciting does this really get? It's an instant mow down. Monacy composed and his team around him. Do not let those pistols find a thing. The intrigue goes up here with G2 recuperating a little after the last four rounds don't go their way. They find success on the pistol. They stick the landing on the conversion, but Maus were never interested in upsetting early. Instead, they wanted to bring out the guns as fast as they can. How's it got to dig deep now for this game? They're going to really have to work for it. G2 getting to call the shots, play their pace. Explosive mid take from Owls, double molly. Uzi sending it, Kane. What a flash set up by Nico. Sure, he sees nothing. They run through a Molotov danger, but Monacy survives. He lives to tell the tale of five points of health, even the flick. Nico saves Hooksy's life. Sets him up twice. And they almost have both sides, but they'll go back through the spawn, go for that B hit. Nico's already in position. It's wild to me that Brolin's even here. Seeing if he's given anything early on. G2 have to be a little paranoid as they rotate over. But Brolin would have to do something miraculous if Mowers want to have any chance in this round. Most teams will be looking to save here. Jimmy's even moving around to this side. Brolin will find one, but that's not going to be enough. Surely that won't be enough to entice Jimmy in for the retake. Go on. Give it a go. He wants to try, wants to take the opportunity. Monacy back of the site, low on HP, but he gets the spot. And with the info provided, G2 do not have to overplay their hand here. Like he needed that one clean. Now Monacy's repositioned. Nico swings off contact. There should be no way in for Jimpat. Trying to save now. Combat. And they're there to backstab. Denied at the door by Hunter. I like that he went for it. If he finds that clean insta kill on Monacy, he has so much room. And there's only Nico there. So. Now let's give it a go. But by and large, it's G2 building back bigger and better here in map two. It's Mouse's pick. It's where you were ready to write G2 off. But overpass rears its head. Full eco for Mouse. Can put a little bit more in, perhaps, but this one's chalked. Those two stars of the server, Torshi and Jim Pat, are bottom of the board this time around. I mean, they're, 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 you know, it was a nice idea to go for that retake, I guess. Like, they're, they're believing in the individuals, but 
every decision you make has consequences. And if they had saved, they would have had four guns here. They would have had another buy that they could have put together instead. They have to just bite the bullet now and play with pistols. That's why you would have seen a, a lot of teams elect to save in that situation. G2, sure, it's not a freebie because there is a little bit of util, some armor to play around. These can always get out of hand. But G2 are massively favored to now move on a double digits. And they're playing their cards right, going for an A hit here. They know the mouse don't have a lot to play with. There's no range weapons. Though G2 don't like what they see. Gonna stall it out. Red smoke coming in. And go for a mid take instead. Shui's got a flash, but it's only Jim Pat here. How much can he really get done with a pistol? The swing doesn't commit, and they hit the steps as well. G2 just side by side. This is perfect on the anti-eco. Trade is inevitable, not even necessary. Honestly, spams a smoke, and this should be G2 onto double digits. However you like it. Honestly's looking lights out now. Snappy aim. Oh, flawless round taken from G2. This comeback is building. It's taking shape and G2 can feel it. Maus are running out of chances to stop this. Maus are running out of chances to stake their claim to Ancient. And with the amount of smoke spams that have taken place in G2's favor, Maus must just feel down in the dumps here. It was the same to open up that first half. It felt like every time G2 fired off a bullet, Oh, miss smokes, it goes deep through middle. And so Hunt has given oh. an open sight line to fight, one that Exertion was not anticipating. Missing your insta in this round and then that punish, that could not be a worse situation for Mouse to be in right now. And G2 are gonna take full advantage of it. They run into the MTA bomb site. What a cool, no one here to stop him. Torshi tries on that cross. He hits a shot. Right. Suddenly, it's, it's only Monacy. It's and he's got the bomb as well. Monacy is flying solo. Monacy is in this all alone. There is no one to help him. No one to bail him out. Monacy has to do it all, and he can't live up to the hype. Roland backstab, and now Hootsie's alone as well. He can get that punish kill, but they've got time to set up. He's got to deliver here for G2. Try and recover a round that feels too far gone with a double setup. Wait, you till Paul Jimmy had to hit that. And luckily he will. Withstands the pressure, trying to build back in. A hat trick from Jim Pat. Shocking round for Mouse to win when you look at what's going on with the miss smoke, with Hunter getting an entry, and then G2 walking into an empty A bomb site. Their only issue is their lack of util. They don't have a single smoke down. These two sight lines of Donut and CT punish them. And no saving grace for G2. A jump at the gun, perhaps. It looked so good. But finally, Maus fueled around on the CT side. It's a huge sigh of relief that comes with it, because up until now, G2 have felt invaluable. They've not really made many mistakes, and everything, even the chance moments, have been going their way. But they finally go one step too far, and Maus get to capitalize. But that has to be the round that brings you back into the game. That can't just be a flash in the pan for Maus. Because G2, they're not feeling the pressure yet. They're still holding a comfortable lead, and that one was a misstep. Oh, I like that Maus actually pre nades that lurk smoke in middle. They know what's coming, and it, it's meant they know no one's lurking out mid. It's got to be somewhere else. So Jim Pat's already in position. They're not heavy mid. The molly's ready. Out it goes. Jim Pat can stop or at least stall the rush. And now G2 have to make that call. Like, do we really want to go for this? This is hard to decide for Hooksy. They will recommit. The nade is unbelievable. G2 get cut into pieces. Jimpat can't escape the damage. Zershan sprays off one, and they are so lit up. Is the response. G2 clawing it back. They might all be wounded and hurting. Bond. Shui trying to make a play. Bomb away from G2. It's Monacy and it's Nico. These are meant to be the guys. These are meant to be the ones you rely on for the G2 squad, and Nico leaves it all on one man for Maus. 
G2 don't move a muscle yet, but eventually they will have to. Trying to let the nerves kick in for Brolin, seeing if he overplays his hand. So well. But he does not. Oh, Nico's just... pushed through the back line. It's being considered. But Brolin has to hit this. If he does, suddenly, game's afoot. He's in with a chance, oh. but it's Nico you're up against. And there's not many men you would want to face. The, oh, and that guy, that's wild. Nico locks Brolin out of it in spite of Brolin having the read. Uh, in spite of Brolin being ready. Nico Amonesi cook up that round for G2. This one is on a knife's edge right now. This game is just bouncing between both teams. Close rounds, clutch rounds. No one is safe in this game. But G2 are starting to rise ahead. That early streak on this T side has propelled them forward. And now Mao sit back with nothing. For, for G2, that's so huge, right? Because Mao's, they, they, were, they were gifted a round. They were gifted a chance to build back into this game. And G2 might have just taken that away with just the pistols now. Oh, oh my god! Brolin lines up the double kill. G2, don't get ahead of yourselves here. Monacy blowing the smoke open, but the shot sails past. Hunter moving up through the cave. Big Hunter, big game player. Trying to make this move out into the site. Deals with the first man and the second. Hunter's here! On for the ace! Knocked out, leaves it all on Monacy, but Hunter's done all he can and then some. Monacy slows it right down. Exertion tries to get ahead of this in a reposition. But that's going to leave him far removed. He will have the element of surprise. The more time ticks, the more Monacy has to consider this as an option. And the more angles Monacy now has to worry about. Still hoping he's fought, still hoping he's peaked. Monacy makes the read, spots oh. him! And Monacy makes it happen! Does right by Hunter, does right by G2. Monacy does not fall down in the clutch. The whole map was open there. Every possibility was very real for Monacy, but he puts it together. And for Maus, a diamond in the rough round rubbed away from them. And the reality now sets in that this one might be settled on a third, might be settled on overpass. Nade for Hunter starts this round the way he ended the last. to hold their breath. 5v4, map point, Mouse's pick. And this game is just waiting to be closed. G2 hope, they pray that Mouse make a move, go for info, get aggressive, make a mistake. And Mouse have, in a sense, rotating out on this B-bomb site, leaving just two players here. The orb nowhere to be seen. G2 surrounding the site bit by bit, gaining more space. Mouse just trying to stop. But they have almost no blocking util left, none on this site at least. It's gonna come down to gunfights and not even assisted by flashes. Shui in front of the ramp. They are coming out of the cave. He is open for the taking. He must go. Rooksy with the backstab. Brolin can't stop it. And G2 roll out that red carpet. Zersha trying to hold the line, but the nerves are kicking in now. The adrenaline's kicking in. You can't believe it's gotten away from you, but it has. G2, resilient, and Hunter will close. What a recovery from Hunter. He helps G2 stick this landing and long out this series. They still have their sights set on a grand final, and they're one map away from that 